Hello you guys, welcome back. So today I'm sharing four easy appetizers. The Super Bowl is right around the corner. So is Valentine's Day. So these recipes would be perfect for either occasion. So this first recipe we are making is some sausage balls. I know that is kind of a traditional recipe, but instead of using regular Bisquick, we are gonna use the Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix by Red Lobster. So it's gonna take it up a notch and I think it's gonna be really good. So let's go ahead and let's get started. What I love about this recipe is that it's only four ingredients. So the first one is of course your sausage. So I'm doing one whole pound of just regular ground sausage. Next, you're gonna do eight ounces of cream cheese. Then you're gonna do about a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And lastly, you're gonna do the whole pack of the 11 ounce box of the biscuit mix. Now we're just gonna start stirring this in and mixing it. I like to start off with a spoon and then I like to go in with my hands. I've said it several times, but I think your hands are the best tool in your kitchen. So I like to, of course, do it that way. But if you wanna just use a, um, a spoon or you can put it in the bowl of like a stand mixer or use a hand mixer, whatever you wanna do, just mix this up really well. Unfortunately, I lost my cookie scoop, so I'm just going to scoop these out into about one inch balls, roll them up, and then put them on your parchment paper. This is a really good point if you want to make these ahead of time. You can do it this far and then stick them in your freezer or in your fridge if you want to do them like the night before. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and roll these into balls now, and then we will get these in the oven here in just a second. These sausage balls are so good. They're just going to fly off the plate. They do not last long in our house, but I love using that Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix instead of regular Bisquick. It just takes it up a notch, so definitely try it out. I'm going to eat one now because they smell heavenly, but of course, as you guys know, the recipe is down below, so definitely try this one and let me know what you guys think. So this next recipe is a Philly cheesesteak cheesy bread. We actually had this for dinner last night and it was so good. I just forgot to film the intro to it. It is a little bit um, more hearty and filling, so that's why we had it for dinner, but I like that in an appetizer and I know a lot of the men like it in an appetizer as well. So the first thing you wanna do is cut up one green bell pepper slice up some uh, mushrooms. I got the pre-sliced, but I did go ahead and chop them up a little bit more. And then also you're going to cut up your steak. I did a ribeye steak. That is what is recommended and it was really good and really tender. So cut all that up first and then I'm gonna show you all how I cook it before I put it on our bread. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my loaf on the pan. I'm just using this Italian loaf. I picked it up at Walmart. And go ahead and cut this in half and just kinda have it prepped and ready on your pan. Okay, so I have a cast iron skillet and I just did about a tablespoon of olive oil and you wanna get this really hot. And now I'm just going to add in my steak and cook it for about two minutes. After about two minutes, you wanna add in about a tablespoon or a little bit more. I like to do more of Worcestershire sauce. 
and then give this a stir, but you really want it to brown up on one side for about two minutes, and then just kind of stir this around. After about just a minute, you want to take this out because this is going to cook in the oven later, so you don't want to overcook it right now. We're basically just browning this up. Okay, so now we're going to add in our mushrooms and our peppers with about two tablespoons of butter, and we're going to just kind of saute these for about three to four minutes or so. So the first thing I'm doing is just taking some of this mayo and I'm going to spread it all over both of our buns. Next, I'm going to layer on some cheese on both pieces of bread. I'm going to do some steak. Then our peppers and our mushrooms. Now I'm just going to top with some more cheese because that's the best part. Now you're just going to stick this on the middle rack of your oven for about 15 minutes at 375 until it's browned. One, I wish you guys could smell this. Two, I wish that I could share it with you all. I just kept mine with a pizza cutter and that worked great. I love this because it's handheld. Look at that cheese pull. Ooh, you can barely see it. That is so good. Um, I love this because it's handheld, which is what a lot of people like. Um, so this is a good one for the Super Bowl. If you guys need something new, I feel like this is a little bit kind of new, but it's still meaty and hearty, which is what I like in an appetizer. A lot of the men really like that in an appetizer as well. So this is a good one. This recipe is of course down below for you guys. You can even add in some other things like onions or red bell pepper. You can play around with it a little bit too, but overall this is a huge win in our book. So this next recipe we are making is some warm bean dip. At every party you need a really good dip. So this one's a little bit different. I love the bean dip that you can buy in the can and you dip with Fritos. That is my favorite. So we're going to kind of remake that today and it's going to be really warm and then of course we will serve it with Fritos but you can serve it with whatever you have on hand. So let's go ahead and let's get started with this one. Okay so for our bean dip I'm going to do about four ounces of cream cheese, a half a cup of sour cream, one can of traditional refried beans, and about half a pack of taco seasoning or maybe a couple tablespoons. And you want this mixed together really, really well. You don't want any clumps in this, so I'm going to take my hand mixer and just mix this until it's really creamy. I picked up these cute little Valentine containers at Hobby Lobby. So this is what I'm going to pour my bean dip in. Plus, it's really just the two of us at home today, or three of us if you count Noah. And so I just don't want to make a ton. So I'm just going to pour this right in. I might could even do two. Um, pour this right in here. And then we are just going to top it with some Fiesta Blend cheese. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick our dip in here at 350 and we're gonna let this go, I would say for about 25 to 30 minutes because you really want it to get warm and that cheese to melt. I 
just tried the bean dip so good next time i think i'll use a little bit less of that taco seasoning just because i don't think it really needs it but the bean dip in the can is like my favorite thing ever that's my mom and i's uh, favorite snack and it's pretty similar so that's a win in my book so really really good i don't think this one's gonna last long at our super bowl party but you guys will have to let me know if you like bean dip or what kind of dip do you usually serve um at your parties or if you have like an appetizer spread what is your favorite thing to put out because i'm very interested to hear okay so this next recipe is probably going to be my favorite and i know sliders are really popular appetizers but i wanted to change it up a little bit i feel like today we're just kind of recreating the classics but anyways this one's gonna be good it's brown sugar turkey rolls and typically like i said you would do some kind of slider on like a hawaiian roll but i'm using the sister schubert rolls i'm going to show you all which ones because i know there's a couple different um versions out there but um i'm going to cut those in half and then put some turkey and cheese on them and then do like a brown sugar glaze on top it's going to be good. So I'm very excited about that. And it kind of changes up the sliders just a little bit, but it's still um, hearty and meaty and a good little sandwich to kind of put out there for your friends and family. So I'm going to show you all exactly how to make it. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay. So these are the rolls I'm using the Parker house style ones. These are the best and you do want to let these thaw out. You do not want them frozen. And then this is our favorite turkey. And then I'm going to do some Swiss cheese. Obviously, you can change this up. You can do ham. Shaved ham is really good on this as well. Any kind of cheese. But this is kind of our favorite little variety. Um, so I'm just going to cut our rolls in half and then put our ham and or our turkey and cheese on. Put the rolls back together and then brush over that brown sugar and butter mixture right over top. Okay, so like I said, we're doing that brown sugar glaze on top. So I'm just going to melt down some butter, maybe like a fourth of a cup, and then a couple tablespoons of brown sugar. You could also um, throw in some Dijon mustard. I do not like Dijon mustard, but I know a lot of people do. So if you do, then add it in here and melt it down with your butter and brown sugar. So I just have this mixture right over the top. You can do more, you can do less, totally up to you. And then this is gonna go in the oven at 350. I'm gonna cover it with foil and then I'm gonna let it bake for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna remove the foil and kind of let it brown up on top for another 10 minutes or so. I can't even tell you all how good these look. Like I said, this is probably going to be my favorite. I did cut it so maybe I could get it pulled out. Ooh, so good. I love a good cheese pull. Who doesn't? Anyways, this topping is so good. Reminds me of those Chick-fil-A copycat minis that I did a while back. So, so good. So I'm going to dive into this. Ooh, and I'm going to let you all know how it is. You guys. That recipe is my favorite. These little handheld sandwiches kind of remind me, like I said, of those chicken minis, but so much better, like so much better. And you don't want to use a Hawaiian roll because then it would be too sweet. These sister Schubert rolls are the best option. So try it out. This is by far my favorite recipe of the four that I have made. So good. So, so good. Take my word. Try them. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some recipe ideas for the Super Bowl, Valentine's Day, whatever it is. And if you are new around here, I would love for you to stick around. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye, y'all.